Do you know that you are less selfish than you might think? In fact, we all are as humans, which is sort of encouraging really, because what we've discovered in the last few years is actually altruism, the sense of duty and honor, doing things just because they're the right things to do and because they help our tribe, actually is an incredibly powerful motivator. In fact, if you wanna persuade someone to consider a new way of operating or thinking, one of the best things to appeal to is that sense of altruism, not self-interest. And that might surprise you because we tend to have this assumption that if you wanna like, get, it, get someone on board with an idea, you gotta answer the question of what's in it for me, you know, from a self-interest perspective. And of course, as humans, that is a part of our makeup. And yet it's only in a specific part of our brain, the part of our brain that focuses on benefits for us. And it's a part of our makeup, but actually a very different part of our brain processes these notions of duty and self-interest. And in fact, it is a much more powerful part of our brain in terms of human motivation. So if you wanna get people to help, to get involved, to contribute, appeal to altruism, that sense of, of the common good, you know, responsibility to the tribe or the group, and they'll be far more open to what it is you're suggesting. It also appeals to their, their better senses and actually tends to be more enduring motivation as opposed to self-interest motivation. So you can do either, but if you've got the choice of focusing on altruism or focusing on self-interest, go with altruism every single time.